Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I am great. I'm over here getting ready to do a planter. I have a lot going on out here, and I can't really move the camera in any kind of way, or else it's going to give away everything that's in this weekend's vlog. So I guess if you follow me on Instagram, then you already have an idea of what's going on. But anyways, I have this Chinese fan palm here. It's getting kind of big, needs to be repotted. And I thought I'd go ahead and toss it together into a quick little planter with some other annuals, maybe some tropicals. I might go ahead and squeeze this kind of full, maybe too full, I don't know. We'll see and just have fun with it. I already got a little bit of soil here in this pot. Hopefully it's enough. If not, no big deal. I can always add some more. There we go. That's right about where I want this. I want this set when it's in here and settled and straightened out and everything. So at the top of the soil is just about an inch. No more than that below the top of the pot. That way I can water it without soil gushing all over the place. So it's the next day. It just started pouring out of absolutely nowhere while I was filming. So had to go in, didn't want to ruin my camera. Thought I should offer an explanation to the lighting difference. So I have this begonia here. It was in a hanging basket. I need the orange for a different project, but uh, it's half orange and half pink, which would have driven me crazy. So I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna put it in here. Very easy to go ahead and just divide these right out. Look at how easily that pulls out. Perfect. Okay, I have moved to the shade. Not as pretty of a background, but at least we can see what's going on here. Lighting, just not on my side today. That's all right though, because I got this done and it looks pretty. That's all I was going for, something nice and pretty. Oh my gosh. I just realized I think I shot part of this video in slow-mo. <laughs> no, no. Well, here's the finished product if um, that didn't work out. I'll do a recap. This might be a really short video. So I have a croton on each side here on the right and left. These were just like an assorted tropical plant from a big box store, split it in half, one on both sides. And in the front is the Iconia begonia, which is very fragile. And I, 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 I broke it a whole bunch when I was putting it in here. So hopefully it recovers from that. It should be all right though. That This particular one I think is called like unbelievable first kiss, something like that, I don't know because this was in a hanging basket with an orange one. So the label that was in there was for the orange, not this pretty coral pink one. Then I've also tucked in two of the wave petunias, one on each side. The idea with those is that they'll trail down the front. These particular wave petunias smell very nice. I don't know if that's what they sell them for. I have noticed that the more blue a petunia is, more bluey purple, they seem to have more of a scent to them, which is nice. I'm gonna have this near an entryway and I can't place it right now because that'll give away a lot of what's going on in the vlog that comes out after this video. That's why we're sitting over here in the shade. And then in the front, right there in the middle is a Creeping Jenny. These grow very nicely, nice and tight growth that'll come down the front of the pot. I think the color of that foliage is gonna go well with the bluey pink color or bluey purple color of those wave petunias. Oh, and then the Dusty Millers. I tucked two of those in there just to kind of give something a little bit lighter on the inside to draw the eye in. So it just sort of kind of rounds it out a little bit, I think. As far as all these plants are concerned, the Chinese Fan Palm, the Croton, the Creeping Jenny, and the Dusty Millers and the wave petunias, they can take full sun. The Iconia Begonia, however, they, at least I noticed last year, in the heat of the summer, they didn't really appreciate full sun. But what's nice though, that everything that's in here can also take part sun. The wave petunias are going to bloom the best with lots and lots of sun. So if when the heat of summer arrives, it looks like the Iconia begonia is just not feeling the lighting, I can move it to where it's not getting as much intense light in the afternoon, because that's where you want them to have more cooler conditions, afternoon sun, more shade when it's hot outside. 
I could also very easily swap this out with a sun impatient or even a small hibiscus. That would work well too. But like I said though, everything that's in here doesn't have to have full sun. I would prefer it to have full sun so that the petunias, those wave petunias, really do their thing and flower nicely. I was originally going to put the Supertunia Vista Silverberry in here. And that's because the Supertunia Vistas, they like an awful lot of sun. You get more full flowering along the plant when you have a lot of sun for them. But I've grown the Supertunia Vista bubblegum in shade before and it did wonderfully. It was a little bit longer. The flowers were a little bit more sparse, but still for a petunia, it did fantastic. The problem though is I wanted the purple in here with those pinks and the oranges that are in the crotons. I like the color combination. I think it looks nice together. It's going to tie my front and backyard together fairly well because that's also similar to what I'm going to be doing in the hanging baskets this year on my front porch. So it's going to need a few weeks for everything to kind of get over being torn apart and tossed in here. But it is going to look really nice when these petunias, these wave petunias, start to take off and trail down the side of the pot. Like I said, I'm going to have to keep an eye on this begonia. Okay, that's all. This video may not have come together very well since I apparently filmed a very large chunk of it in slow motion. That's all right. It happens. Not that big of a deal. I mean, I was just kind of tossing plants together. Nothing super serious. I should have mentioned I did also throw a little bit of a Spoma Biotone starter in here while I was kind of dropping the plants in. The Biotone starter is going to help the plants. Since I had to pull them apart, a lot of them I had to pull apart at least, it's going to help them reroot and get going a little bit better. Make for nice, more healthy, sturdy plants. I know it's very full, but that's okay. That's kind of what I was going for. And I really do. I can't wait until these petunias take off because I think that that bluey purple color is going to go really well with the oranges and the coral pinks in here, as well as that really pretty chartreuse green from the Creeping Jenny. Okay, that's going to do it. Thanks for hanging out. Well, maybe you got to watch me plant something. I don't know. As always, I'll have updates on the planters as they grow and as I place them up on my Instagram. All my social media is linked down below follow me and i'll follow you back i am on instagram like way more than anything else it's fun on there so we can look at each other's pictures and be plant nerds together uh, updates on this one we'll have to wait because like i said i can't place it yet you have to wait till after this weekend's vlog but it, there will be updates there won't be much to update on this one in the next few days anyways it's got to fill out and um recover i felt a lot of snapping when i was putting this begonia in there and don't forget to hit the like button it makes a big difference for the channel for the videos i really do appreciate it so thank you and subscribe as well I upload multiple times a week so hit that notification bell that way you know when new videos come out oh and as this chinese fan palm grows some more it, as it matures the foliage is going to start to be up higher and higher and higher then it can kind of thin out some of this lower growth a little bit. It's not going to need it, and that'll help free things up for the crotons on the side as well. As always, I hope everybody's doing well. Having a great day, great life. Everything's just going beautifully for you. Hey, and as always, most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.